Robotics in Japan is reaching a completely new level, as robots are being integrated into literally every sphere. Engineers from China have managed to surpass Boston Dynamics by creating their versatile four-legged robot for military load carrying. An unexpected breakthrough from scientists at Columbia University who developed a robot that was able to understand itself from scratch. Italy has unveiled the first fully domestically developed humanoid robot. These and other high-tech news in one video. Robotization is in full swing in Japan. An experimental robot cafe in Japan has completed its operation, where visitors were received and served by three robots named Masiro, Siro, and Sia. While it was an experimental project, many who had the chance to visit hoped for its resumption. The robot Masiro awaited visitors at the entrance, invited them inside, assigned each a QR code, and escorted them to a table. Meanwhile, the robots Siro and Sia took care of the service. Additionally, at the National Museum of Emerging Science and Innovation in Japan, visitors can can engage in conversations with a future tourism agent, a humanoid robot with artificial intelligence that won in a dialogue robot competition in Japan dedicated to a global artificial intelligence conference. Engineers from China have succeeded in achieving what Boston Dynamics once attempted, the creation of a quadruped robot carrier for the military. According to Chinese sources, this is the world's largest bionic robot on four legs. It can move at speeds up to 10 kilometers per hour and carry up to 160 kilograms. Its potential missions include transporting equipment and conducting reconnaissance in hard to reach and dangerous areas. The robot operates on electricity and is reported to navigate challenging terrains such as sand, tall grass, or snow. Scientists at Columbia University have created the first robot that autonomously, from scratch, learned to perceive its body and use it similarly to how infants do. Researchers placed the robot in a circle of five streaming video cameras so that it could see its movements. The robot then used a neural network to create its kinematic scheme, essentially learning how parts of its body respond to the activation of motors in the joints. Subsequently, it learned to plan movements, using this scheme to reach a set goal while avoiding obstacles in the process. It took the robot three hours to do everything everything. The robot became so aware of its body that it could identify whether it had sustained damage and locate where it occurred. In this way, researchers have created the first prototype of a machine capable of performing simple tasks autonomously without prior training, as well as detecting its own wear and malfunctions, and in the future potentially repairing itself. Italy has unveiled the first fully domestically developed humanoid robot, Roby from the company Oversonic, standing at 175 centimeters tall and weighing 70 kilograms, is now officially introduced to the market. It is claimed that Roby can operate autonomously, working in industrial warehouses, performing sanitation tasks in enclosed spaces, and carrying out surveillance operations. Additionally, with the use of artificial intelligence and a voice interface, Roby can recognize people and engage in independent communication with them. The robot equipped with 40 movable joints and a full array of sensors perfectly navigates in the surrounding space and can safely move in a crowd of people. It features gripper hands enabling it to handle objects with a diameter of 3 centimeters and transport loads weighing up to 50 kilograms using a cart. The robot stores all memories in a database, can mirror user actions for learning purposes, and can be programmed through its built-in panel. The flying car Switchblade from Samson Sky has officially entered service after 14 years of development. This three-wheeled vehicle transforms into an airplane at the push of a button, reaching an altitude of 400 meters and flying at a speed of 320 kilometers per hour. The Switchblade made its first flight at the Grant County International Airport in Moses Lake, Washington. It reached an altitude of 150 meters, circled, and landed approximately six minutes later. This occurred one year after the Federal Aviation Administration deemed it airworthy. Samson has received 2,300 orders for the Switchblade from 57 different countries at an initial price of $170,000. The three-wheel design allows it to be classified as a motorcycle in many jurisdictions, significantly simplifying the process of obtaining permits for road use. The two-seater vehicle accelerates to over 200 kilometers per hour with its wings and tail folded. With a hybrid power system running on regular gasoline with an octane rating of 91, the car has a range of up to 805 kilometers on a full 125-liter fuel tank. The Switchblade will be sold as an experimental home-built aircraft, requiring owners to assemble 
assemble more than half of its components themselves. However, the company promises to open dedicated centers where assembly can be completed in one week using all necessary tools under the guidance of specialists. The Swedish company Candela has announced the testing of a pre-production model of an electric passenger ferry with underwater wings. The P-12 vessel, with 30 passenger seats, lifted into the air at a speed of 16 knots and accelerated to 30 knots. The electric ferry will be cost-competitive with diesel counterparts, but will have lower maintenance costs and be environmentally cleaner in operation. The vessel can be configured in different versions. The shuttle version accommodates 30 seats, space for bicycles and wheelchairs. The business version has fewer seats, ranging from 12 to 20 in a premium class cabin. Finally, the Voyager flavor offers private use of the vessel and corresponding customization. A retractable ramp with an adjustable angle is provided for docking, allowing for varying dock heights. According to the developer, in areas with waterways within city limits, water transport is often faster, more frequent, and more comfortable than using a car. The cost of the serial product in the shuttle version will be 1,700,000 euros. A diesel ferry of a similar class would cost approximately the same, but its operation would be more expensive, not to mention environmental pollution from exhaust emissions. Airborne wing ferries, like the P-12, are seen by the company as a viable way to transition to green water transport, with plans to scale operations from river vessels to maritime and eventually oceanic transportation. There was a time when Boston Dynamics wanted to put a robot on rollerblades, although Boston Dynamics attempted to realize this idea with the robot handle. After several upgrades, it never reached production. Therefore, the Robotic Systems Lab at ETH Zurich has claimed this achievement by releasing another video featuring the robot animal, which moves on rollerblades better and more delicately than most robots without them. Researchers reported that the robot combines trajectory optimization in autopilot mode with control using an online model prediction, allowing it to to skillfully use its legs and rollerblades in every movement it makes. The robot can find optimal movements in any situation, considering obstacles and its own physical constraints. Trajectory optimization algorithms transform high-level tasks into dynamically feasible motions stored in the robot's motion library. The use of the library allows the algorithms to calculate movements with minimal delay, almost in real time. Moreover, the algorithms can generate new trajectories and motions, combine them optimally in a seamless manner, and integrate them into a unified maneuver. It is worth admitting that the developed algorithms are indeed impressive. The next step is to find a worthy application for the robot. Write in the comments what you think about these new generation technologies. If you found something new and interesting in this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you soon.